just a sec. Alright. So I actually don't recall how long this one is. Um, the first time I played it was actually on my laptop at a tournament. At a series of tournaments. When I was playing, uh, when I was running magic events back home. So I don't remember it taking very long, but for the most part it was, um... It was a series of short, short sessions, and I remember not a lot of it really holding me back. There were a couple boss fights that were problematic. Like, there's one I think I have to stay on some, uh, some of these top, some of these bars across the top and fire down at, like, a spider machine or spider tank of some kind. But I don't remember a lot. This is also over 20 years ago, so give me some credit. They're almost 20 years ago. Hmm. I kind of expected there'd be more in there, but... So we should be getting close to the last room. Uh, I guess we'll have to... God, I wish they wouldn't do that. It's like, jeez, creatures. How can I kill you if you're just gonna respawn? Okay, let's, uh, let's actually catch the thing this time. There we go. You know, maybe, Samus, I'm just throwing this out there, maybe it was unwise to coat your suit in butter before you took on this mission. Oh, hey, a save room. Yay. It's a good thing that was telegraphed on the map. So, I didn't stream last night, and I had plans that were going to preclude streaming. Um, you know, my girlfriend was going to come over, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to sit here and play video games. Unless they're with her. But I don't have another, uh... I don't have another mic stand, so <laughs> I couldn't have her join in. Not yet, anyway. But, anyway. Oh, look, it's a thing, and oh no, a thing happened. There we go. New and improved Zappy. So is this going to be a door that specifically opens because of the charge beam? No. Okay. Well, I kind of thought they might do that. Oh. Hell yeah. What's in here? Okay, mission complete. Now it's gonna tell me to go back and do something in section two. Yeah. 
But anyway, um, there were some complications, and the plans fell through, and they did so in such a way that I was left in kind of a panic, uh, rather concerned about um, somebody traveling across town, and clearly things had gone wrong when it was at least half an hour past when they should have been here. I'm like, okay, something has really gone wrong, and I don't know if it was a panic attack or not, but it was really unpleasant. I mean, I've had two panic attacks, and they were both related to medical issues. Uh, only one of them was my medical issue at that. Um, so I was sitting in a high school class. I had a law class in high school, if you can believe it. <coughs> and uh, the teacher was telling us about a, an injury he sustained while playing hockey and uh, what had to be done to make his leg work. And it, they, he basically explained, yeah, you might have noticed I walk a little funny. And uh, he goes into this story. And as he's describing it, I remember black, you know, my heart just pounding. I blacked out for like a second. And I was just covered in this cold sweat. I'm like, I don't know how to articulate what's wrong, but I need to step out for a moment. <laughs> The other one was, uh, I had gotten this cast off after, God, six weeks. Um, yeah, I had this cast on my arm for six weeks because I had seriously damaged my tendon. Oh, and some nerves uh, with a butcher knife. And uh, the first time seeing that part of my hand and like being able to move it just set something off and I just, oh, oh geez. You know, here I am telling horror stories. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use charge beams instead of missiles when I can. That seems much more productive. But yeah, uh, I don't know if it was just the feel of the blood returning to my hand after being, you know, kind of compressed by the, by the cast I was in. Um, or just the fact that I was moving it freely or whatever, but I, I had the exact same experience that I had uh, in that classroom. And last night, I didn't get the cold sweat, but I had a lot of the other symptoms, and I was... Um, I lost a lot of control of my emotions. It was really unpleasant. So, anyway, I, it was kind of a lot, is what I'm saying. So, not only had I not planned to stream, and I probably should have tweeted about that, but um, when it became definite that the plans weren't happening either, it was already late enough in the evening, and I was not feeling great. So, that's why there was no stream yesterday, and today I wound up doing it a little late, um, just because I've been having a shitty time sleeping, and... Something else happened today that just irritated the shit out of me. Um, so on Thursday, I placed an order on Amazon uh, because I've been having an issue where my feet, my the calluses on my feet are super dry and cracked, and that can be very painful in the morning. So I looked around online, like, hey, why don't you try, uh, you know, using using a foot bath and uh, tea tree oil? I'm like, okay, you know what, I'll do that. So I ordered some. Or a foot bath, or a tea tree oil, and uh, uh, I ordered some wooden spoons because I had two of them break while I was, while I was baking cookies uh, recently. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, I need some more of those. And they're supposed to come in Saturday. I'm like, great! I, I happen to be here all day Saturday, just like every other day. Uh, and I have lunch, I lie down. And uh, when I wake up, I check my phone, and my phone has a notification saying that my order had been delivered 10 minutes ago. I'm like, great, Let, let's go outside and have a look. And it's not in front of my door, which it's supposed to be. Uh, it's in front of the building. The uh, driver just decided not to drop it off, and I see two boxes. I'm like, okay, that comports with um, roughly what I ordered and how it was divided up. Um, one of the boxes is for one of my neighbors. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just bring that in and put it next to her mailbox. 
And uh, the one big box is there. I'm like, oh, I thought this would be in two. I'm like, this does feel a little light. Well, the foot bath is in there. But the Epsom salts and tree, tree tree oil and the wooden spoons are nowhere to be found. Because in the ten minutes between the delivery ha almost happening and me getting to pick it up, um, somebody just fucking stole random packages from my front door. I'm just... This isn't even the first time. It's actually how I lost a po uh, Pro Controller uh, a couple of years back. A Pro Controller and a shower head. You wind up ordering the weirdest shit sometimes. But... Okay, so I'm guessing that we see this fork in the road here. We've got a, a big vertical chamber and then some rooms off to the right. That's probably where the security room is going to be. Just an educated guess here. All right, let's do this. Okay, I wonder, can I, uh... Okay, that's something I'll have to puzzle out later. What am I doing? I have a hatch I need to unlock. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't have bombs yet. Oh, hey, the security room was exactly where I expected. So I guess this also unlocks some stuff in uh, section one, so... It might be worth going back and checking out. And there's a door right here that I can open now, and what's in here? Uh, just some dudes. Hmm. I mean, there, it looks like there should be something there. Anyway. Back to the mission. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wonder if there's a bomb door there. Okay, and up. Okay, let's go bomb some things. Hey, not overwhelming, but still pretty good. Oh! That was a little bit of a surprise. I'm guessing there's going to be some high jump boots involved here soon. Let's see what we will see. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Here I am, not knowing how to do an infinite bomb jump, and I don't even need to. Amazing. I guess we'll see what's in the uh, perfectly normal door. Oh, it's... I don't know, something. Ow. Oh, hello. Game. Please. There we go. That seems out of the way for just a save room, but okay. All right, so my next uh, my next marker, I'm gonna have to take five. Um, just some matters of personal urgency that one has to take care of. Looks like that'll be about 15 minutes from now. All right, let's go up this shaft <laughs> and. Uh, There's just nothing in here. Why? Hmm. 
Alright, what's in this hallway? Stuff. Okay. Kind of expected some stuff. Okay, wait, some of this looks like... Ah, okay. We'll see what's down there in a sec. Oh, a, a convenient save room. Nice. Thank you. 